Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to dominate on Ninu Jungle here in preseason 11. He's actually decent right now. Um, his his build has been solidified, so his win rate's gone up quite a bit. For Ninu, your main items are gonna be Sunfire Aegis. He's super reliant on it. Turbo Chem Tank is useless on him because you can't activate it mid W. So it actually gives zero value. It's super, super bad on Ninu. Frostfire Gauntlet's useless too because you already have so many slows. It's just doesn't really give any value either. So you pretty much just end up going Sunfire Aegis and uh, it works out. It really does. Sunfire Aegis is his best item. Then you'll pick up tier two boots. It's normally gonna be plated steel caps or merc treads. Normally steel caps. Uh, looks like their team has quite a bit of AP. I could get away with merc treads. And then just rush down Dead Man's Plate, then Spirit Vistage normally. Dead Man's Plate's really good for gank. So if you can get it as early as possible after your jungle item, that's good. We're gonna start just auto tap Q. And uh, you may be saying, well, why did you start over here? That's a good question. I could have started on my red buff, but I didn't think Alao was going to leash me. That's fine. Nunu can start on blue side. It's just not quite as good as red side. If you're going to start blue side, take E level 2. If you're going to start red side, take W level 2. With the way the camps are set up, it's hard to get value out of W level 2 starting blue side. Unless you're just going to cheese gank straight off a buff, which is really, really risky. We're gonna smite that bad boy. You farm really healthy on Nunu. There's really no way to die in your own jungle. That's why Nunu is a massive counter to aggro champions like Graves in Italy. When they want to invade you constantly, especially early game, but they just can't kill you. Yeah, so for your runes, you normally want phase rush. It's your best keystone on Nunu. It's very reliable. Oh, I wanted to eat it. Oh well. We'll use our W. You want phase rush secondary tree. You can either go for tenacity triumphant or you can go for uh domination for the cheap shot and relentless hunter both are really really good i wouldn't sweat it either way it's gonna be a good result i'd say the domination tree is definitely more aggro it's a better for ganks the uh, precision tree for nunu is kind of just better for dives uh, that's about it so if you're gonna be doing a lot of dive plays probably lean into the precision you normally five camp clear on nunu then gank then scuttle I uh, kind of want to queue it. Yeah, I, I wanted to get that healing. It heals you more if you're below half health. It's usually better to go for red smite rather than blue. I'm going to stay on him. Try not to let him hit me though. Stay on top with my uh, phase rush. I think we win this if Alawi just hits this guy. Fuck. I guess not. <laughs> she did zero damage. Oh well. It happens, dude. That's one bad thing about Nunu is your, your damage is pretty bad. You're very reliant on your laner to do the damage. Looks like Alawi is going to get solo killed. Is this actually your first time allowed? It might be. But yeah, so normally if I can't clear into skank, then scuttle. Warwick, cut that off. Is this... I think it's actually his first time allowed. I have no clue, but these people don't seem like they know what they're doing. Nunu's best ganks are off of the scuttle crabs. You want to try to get them and then press a W right off of it. You'll maintain the speed up the full way through. OP hacks. We're going to go for the Lulu. Just, oof. Oof. Double oof. That was painful. It's all right. We'll repeat gank. Once you have the scuttle, you can double dip a bit. I'll lay the pink word. They think I'm leaving. What's Chris going to run forward and scare them away? I'm going to pop out with my W off the scuttle crab. Massive speed up. Nice. Hit her with the snare. That's really, really good. They can actually freeze it on the Lulu here. Looks like Lulu picked up the kill. It's unfortunate. I'll just help him shove it in since it's already pushing. It's time to bat. I don't know why. I, I guess he's going to stay for a play. I think that's a mistake. He's gonna lose a lot of tempo in lane. Why is it shoving up? I think we can hit this. I'm a little worried about playing around with this Alawi, but uh, looks like an easy enough gank. Not bad. We'll just cross through and go top. Really don't have mu much to work with in terms of uh, these laners. They're all really weak early. It's not great for Nunu. Like, Kata's. Pretty bad early, allow is bad early. You want laners who can follow up the ganks and do some serious damage. 
daughter. Stay on top, hit her with every E, auto attack Q. It's really good. We're coming back into this game. It's a bit of a struggle, but uh, we're, we'll make it happen. We'll carry. Uh, that would actually be really cool if we can carry from here. War, it looks like Warwick took our golems. I think I can carry it from here, though. I think we outscaled them. Like, I know Rye scales really hard. <laughs> We only outscale them if I land massive W's, but we'll just, we'll do just that. We'll land massive W's. Anyways, your first back on Nunu, you typically want to get, get your Balmy Cinder if you can afford it. If not, just buy as much of your Sunfire Aegis as you can, preferably on the HP side of it. For example, you'd want to build just the uh, Ruby Crystals to try to get Balmies on your next back. First back, ideally Balmies. And then, uh, like I said, tier 2 boots into dead man's, preferably. I'll grab Scuttle Crap, it's coming up right now. I'll grab that real quick, and then we'll speed up off of it. Your snare will break its shield, and we'll just Q-smite it. Speed up off of it, we'll go around. Around town. Nice. It's really easy for hook supports like Nautilus Thresh and Blitzcrank to fall up on ganks. Bot lane is probably my easiest lane to gank. If I could play this game over, I would start red, then get W after killing red, go straight into wraps, and then cross over and work my way towards bot. Because playing around weak laners, like allowing Kata early is really bad on Nunu. Because you're probably not going to get the kill even if you land your stuff. So let that be the lesson of this game, guys. Make sure the laners you're ganking have high damage early or at the very least have some form of CC. To follow you up. Yeah, but this allows just kind of solo dying. <laughs> happens, it happens, don't worry about it. Rise isn't much of an early game champion, but I doubt Allow is, is a good champion to try to counter him with. Damn, snared me and phase rushed away. I don't think I could have killed him anyway, so it's kind of whatever. I'll just keep playing around the bot lane. Just wanted to get Rise off the turret. We have 4 out of 5 KP right now. 2 kills, 2 assists. Our team has 5 kills total. That's really good. Warwick only has 2 out of his team's 5. So we know we're pulling solid value. Warwick's top side. He's only level 5. Uh, he has red and blue buff. So I don't really want to invade his red. I'll go in for a gank here. I do want to back though and get my jungle item. I want to back at my bombies. Mm. I mean, it's decent. Not bad. It could have been worse. Taking some minion damage. They were just super far under their turret. And our we don't have any pink wards bought. We can't afford our full jungle item, so we'll just buy a pink ward. That's fine. We'll push out towards our red buff. On Nunu, it's really important to have a pink ward on the map at all times after your first back, typically. Uh, it helps your gank. So, like when you saw me pink ward this, I got to double dip on the gank with the scuttle crab speed up. It's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Work just took Harold. He might be over here. He can't really kill me i can get away with my phase rush if i need to all right he's not over here most likely riven's missing though i don't know where riven went keep an eye out for her just keep trying to play around my bot lane go ahead and smite it and now i'm gonna go to my golems and pick those up it's all right to use your abilities at point blank range. You don't really want to use your W at point blank range because it does basically zero damage anyways. It's better to just save it. So you can gank or just move around the map, but your E at point blank range is fine to use. Perfectly okay. I'm gonna go save mid turret. I'm assuming Warwick's ultimate's on cooldown. I'm assuming that's the only way they would have been able to kill Kata. So I may be able to kill Rise or at the very least push them away from the turret. Warwick really needed to block off my uh, Okay, he still had R. I'm not quite sure how they killed a Kata. That's alright though. He's trying to stay on me. But it is I who will be staying on him. Nice snare by the gen. You see how I'm kind of staying in range to hit him with ease, but I'm staying out of his auto range. 
It's a nice thing about Nunu E is since it has kind of like a Thresh auto range. You can kite out melee champions with it. Play around your phase rush. It's really good for us though. We are going to need to get the dragons. Unfortunately, they did get the first one. It happens. Warwick's dead. I'm going to go ahead and take a camp while I'm here. This is what we're going to need to do to set up this win. Just take everything we can get away with while our uh, solo laners try their best. All right, let's push over to our golems. And uh, we'll be going for this next dragon spawn. I'm just going to smite out the big one. The two, the two that just appeared will actually bleed out. If you don't attack the camp for like 10 seconds, they'll just disappear. So Warwick's basically going to miss that full camp. I've heard highly slowed. It seems like Blitzcrank must have burned his hook though. Warwick no R. I should have flashed sooner. I didn't think Warwick could reach me with his Q there. That's my bad. We can get our full Sunfire Aegis. So now is the point where you'd want to get your tier 2 boots. Rise is obviously magic damage, as you can see with Warwick as well. He does a lot of magic damage. Every one of his spells, his magic damage, his Q, his passive, his R. And uh, I guess he didn't go Sunfire Aegis, which is honestly his best first item. But so yeah, AP, AP, and kind of like 70% AP. So I think the uh, Merc Treads here are a really good option. It's normally best to W from base, since we have camps up. I actually W'd a little too soon there. If I would have held on to my W for longer, I could have, uh, I would have been able to get Gromp. I still almost got it. You'll kind of figure out the distances. You can go into practice tool. You get faster on your W, obviously, with having boots, which apparently I didn't buy for some reason. I guess I couldn't afford them. And also per level, not level of your W, but champion level. So like, if you're level one on Nunu, you're really slow, but if you're level 18, you're even faster on your W. I really need these Merc Treads. So we're going to take this. We're going to shove that. We're going to grab this min this uh, monster camp. We lost the first two dragons. It happens. You got to play around your most fed laner in the mid game. You don't want to gain uh, a sinking ship, which is the allowing kata. So yeah, we're just going to keep going bot. Oof, that was scary. All right, yeah, we're gonna, I don't know if we can, we can, probably can't solo kill her. She has tier two boots, so she can kind of run away. I do have a lot of damage. If she stays for turret, she doesn't have flash. Ooh, she's staying. I can actually kill her. I'm gonna start with W to get up big speed before she can see me. You wanna be at full girth before they see you. She actually, she actually trapped me there. That was well played. She's gonna kill herself. Yeah, she, she messed up. That was a really good trap, though. She caught me on my W. That's a big thing about Nunu, guys, is if they have displacements or long-range CC, uh, like you saw there, it can be a big issue with you landing your Ws. Really, really big issue. A big example is like Syndra stun. The Syndra ball stun knocks you out super easily. Uh, Janna tornadoes, Caitlyn traps, all that stuff is really annoying if they uh, are paying attention and their mechanics are clean. It, it is difficult to play around this map though. I don't have, uh, if, if you have several losing lanes, you generally have to forfeit them because Nuna, you don't have the type of damage to just run in like with a Fiddle R or a Warwick R and just shred somebody. Try to get this Riven. W around, unfortunately Warwick's here, it's annoying. They are both full item. Kata is though too. Snared him. Oh, they missed like everything. I'm gonna red smite him. Kata's gonna watch me die. Knock Riven up. Nice, nice. Well played. I'm glad Kata turned. I land my knock up right as she was R'ing, so it gave her a little bit of time. Even though I said not to use your W against camps at point blank range, against champions, it's all right, because that little knock up is really useful when you have a teammate helping you. It holds them still for a little bit longer. This game's still winnable. It's just going to be really challenging. My biggest worry is the Rise. Rise scale is really, really hard. And uh, he'll be able to shred me. So if he's dodging CC, it's going to be highly problematic. We're going to head over here grab the Herald. 
whenever you get kills, you should look to get objectives as long as it's safe to do. I want the Herald. I do not want to give it to Kata. Nice, nice. She gave it. Good girl. Very nice. We are... How far off a dead man's? I really do want dead man's. The movement speed will help me out a lot. And as you saw from that fight earlier with Katarina, if I didn't have phase rush, I would 100% die. With my phase rush, I was fast enough to where Warwick missed his R and Riven was trying to chase me down. If I was uh, after shot, I would have just gotten chewed up. Trust me, phase rush is a lot better. For those of new new players, I need to blow my nose. For those new new players who are still running uh, aftershock, I highly recommend trying out phase rush at least in normals or something. I think you'll uh, you won't like you like the idea of it at first, but once you actually try it, it'll feel really good. Knock him up. I think Rise is gonna probably kill all of us. Nice. Never mind. It is I who kills all of them. Warwick's getting speed up off of me. Hit him with ease. He's lost his speed up. He's snared. Riven's sitting on R still, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna cure. her. She almost just killed me, dude. Almost just died. That's crazy. I need a back. I'm giving Warwick movement speed bonus in this direction as he moves this way. I just used my hands to show you, but you couldn't see it, but it was epic. Trust me. All right. Next is uh, Spirit Vistage is going to be huge here. Spirit Vistage. We'll, see, we'll get rid of that and uh, we'll build straight into it. Probably don't even need to sell that. I'll just uh, sell the pink ward. I'd rather keep the refill potion. Doesn't seem like much, but Spirit Vistage increases it anyways. So I'll get rid of the pink ward for now. I'm on my way for Dragon. We're coming back into the game. and. Ideally, you don't want the kills on Nunu, but it's not the end of the world if you get them. Just make sure you're not dying a lot so you don't burn your shutdown gold. It looks like Kat is finally getting into this game. Those kills she got top seems to be paying dividends. Knock up the rise. Pill for the... I don't have my R. You normally R after you've... You've land your... Uh, after you've landed your your e stacks so right as your snare is about to go off at the end of your e is typically when you wanna start your r that way they'll get snared right as you're starting it or or uh, right as they're about to well, as they're moving away basically i do have herald i'm gonna wait to cue this i think warwick's raptors are up Riven pushed through my jungle top side, so she may have taken mine. I'm not in a hurry to go to that side of my jungle. I see two of them bot. Even if Warwick shows up, he can't kill me. Just run away with my phase rush. Good pinch by the Blitzcrank. Really awesome. Knock up into hook. Perfect, perfect. That's the way you want to do it. Can't miss the hook if they're knocked up, since obviously they can't dodge if they're CC. It's good stuff. Uh, I would lay my Herald. I would like a teammate to be here with me to help me break the turret, though. We'll go look at my wraps real quick. Hold on to my W just in case something's going down mid. Your W is your main gap closing tool for getting the fights. So if it's on cooldown, you're pretty pretty useless. It's like Zach without an E. We'll go in here. Warwick seems like he's being feisty. I don't know if his R is up, but. That's fine. We chunked him and we didn't really burn anything to do it. We got top turret. We'll just lay Herald now. I say we just base race. If they want a base race, they're not going to beat us when we have Herald, even with a Caitlyn. Herald's going to nearly one shot this. It's fine. I'm tanking it for the Herald. I'm super tanky and allow is really good when there's multiple enemies so that's perfect that's exactly what we wanted to force them to come to us is what you want with an allow perfect 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 shove this wave in we really need to kill this before it starts shooting the herald nice we may even get okay we're not gonna get inhib with herald but we're still gonna get the inhib that's really really good and uh you don't want to take inhib sooner than 18 minutes, but 20 minutes is fine. You can take it here because it forces them in base and you can grab Baron. And you may say, well, why wouldn't you want to take it at the 15 minute mark? Uh, you don't want to take it then because it just pushes waves and they eat all the minions. So they get gold XP and you're getting zero since your wave is killing all of theirs. 
checking for uh, camps. It's all down. Shocking. Very shocking. I'm just going to reset. I have Spirit Vistage pinging Jin off the area. Just, I guess just pinging the team to let them know, hey, we're not making a play here. Uh, we're going to need to wait. Normally in team fights on Nuna, you W straight out of Fountain for maximum movement speed. You maintain the full movement speed throughout. So it's as if you're still on Fountain. Just like that. You can engage fights off of Fountain. 20 minute, once it's 20 minute marks, you get movement speed from base. And uh, that's generally when if they're pushed, if enemies are pushed up past the halfway mark of the map, Nunu has massive, 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 massive engages. It's one of his uh, strongest aspects and people don't respect it. No one really thinks about it. It's just one of those little things they just choose to uh, not think about. Hit with the red smite, stay on top of her. We got our flash too. We're doing a lot of damage with our Sunfire Aegis. I'm gonna R, try to get Rise away from the Jin. Trying to give Kat a resets on the Warwick. She got the resets, there we go. I know it's gonna sound funny, but we actually helped Kat out there a lot by killing the, uh, I forgot who we killed. I'm so dumb. I, we killed somebody, I think it was Rise. I'm super tired. We gave Kat a resets and then she chewed them up. Whoever we killed. I think that's GG guys. I think we can end it there. That is fantastic. Yeah, I'm super tired. I need to take a nap. If you guys did enjoy this new new jungle commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you guys haven't, come check out the stream. Come chat and chill live. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.